Hello my beautiful co-creators, Lilu here and I'm in the middle of the labyrinth that is and that was featured last night for the premiere of the Sacred Journey of the Heart. Um, they did many many scenes in that movie from this very special place um, in the labyrinth and also in the meditation room here in the sanctuary which is about 20 minutes outside of Sedona. Uh, I just actually did th this uh, this uh, labyrinth myself just today right now had a wonderful peaceful experience very different than the first labyrinth I talked to you about a few days ago that I did in Santa Fe New Mexico um, this one I took uh, as I did last time few rocks I took six seven rocks that I found around and um, I placed them along as I was releasing some of the fears or some things that were going through of like not being good enough or or things from the past or you know and I just placed them all around let that go and then came to the center here of the labyrinth and then in the center which is really our heart our our essence our spirit um, really took it all in and then walked back um, walk back lighter and walked up with so much gratitude for this journey and I could feel the the lightness and the beingness and just the presence of my soul and that's so it was actually um, this time around I had a more powerful experience on the way to come back and I look forward to interviewing Dean that is the owner of this place here uh, and many many other people that can explain to us more uh, labyrinth and and what it is and and what he's creating here um, these are all very juicy stories uh, that I want to share with all of you um, I think the big media are not talking enough yet about those and there are some very peaceful and beautiful um, not what I would call sensational but really that speaks to our heart and is going to make a difference in our own journey um, as you're going to listen to those so um, what a little light and, and a beautiful thing to be in this site and I also placed two little rocks here I don't know if you can see these two next to each other because when I was walking I was I was pointing I was I had the last little rock in my hand and I didn't want to let it go I'm like this is the last one and where I was gonna place it I found another one that was slightly green and that was about the same shape but I was very I don't know if you can see those here but very, eh, very uh, complementary to each other. This is the green one, kind of a heart-shaped one. I don't know if you can see it. And so those two together, you know, reminded me of the intention that I have to meet my soulmate. And so I placed it here at the center as not wanting to change anything within me, not wanting to change anything within the other, but coming together and that we share our journey and so I placed it here as a um, as a offering to the earth for the love and the creation that this relationship will create and the um, the beauty that will create in the world so that's it my beautiful co-creator another wonderful healing journey and uh, tonight we're going at the conference here in Sedona with some wonderful teachers and speakers from um, this area from the big west <laughs> I don't know if I could say that but the big west yeah and uh, so I'm wearing my cowboy hat I'm gonna jump on a horse and go for a ride <laughs> much love bye